and welcome to the vlog. This is the first time I think I've ever started a vlog dressed and showered. Good for me. This is also the first vlog that I'm openly pregnant. So how fun is that? This is a fun week because Cody's whole family is in town. His mom, his dad, his sister, and his brother-in-law. His sister is also pregnant, so it's been super fun. And it's gonna be a fun one. There's gonna be a lot of public outings and a lot of having to film in front of other people. So I'm gonna be facing a lot of my fears and I cannot wait to do that with you guys. I just got dressed. This is what I'm wearing. This little dress from Free People and these sandals that I also got from Free People. Chili's obviously here and I'm whispering because I'm already feeling shy. Can you guys tell? Let's get fucking into it. Hey, oh, not naked. Swear. Sorry to interrupt this vlog, but we do have a sponsor for today's video. It's HelloFresh, one of my all-time favorite sponsors. And Cody and I are about to cook dinner, and so I wanted to bring you guys along. All right, you guys all already know how much I love HelloFresh because I talk about it all the time. But if you somehow have still not yet tried it, now is truly the perfect time because fall is right around the corner, and HelloFresh is here to help you plan for the busy season ahead with tasty dishes delivered to your door. Simply choose your recipes and pick your delivery date, and then just relax, lay back, relax, and enjoy. Enjoy the last days of summer knowing dinner is covered because HelloFresh takes care of the meal planning and delivers pre-portioned ingredients right to your home. So whipping up a homemade meal is so easy and it's truly so delicious. I am not lying when I say that. And you just learn so many tips and tricks for cooking. You feel like a chef in there. And if you're like me, you truly never thought that was possible. So this fall when life gets busy, don't call for delivery, get HelloFresh. It's 25% cheaper than takeout and less expensive than grocery shopping too. We love it so much and I know you all will too. So you have have to try it for yourselves. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code 50KelseyK at checkout for 50% off plus free shipping. Oh yeah, easy, easy money. <laughs> Welcome back to what hot people eat. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. It's so good. So fucking good. Every time, every time. The little skills you get from doing this. I don't know. Just learning how to, learning that you should always zest the lime because then you can use it for the rice. I know, it's really great. Delish. Started incorporating two things into my makeup routine. I got the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. Love so much. And I also got the Rare Beauty Eye Brightening stuff. Love. I also got the Tarte Concealer, Creaseless Concealer. just left today. I wanted to be in the moment, you know? And so I wasn't really vlogging, but it was such a great trip and it was so nice to have them here and we're gonna miss them. They left today and I was just like unpacking some boxes of stuff that we got. Some baby companies sent us stuff. I was like to say congratulations. Serve sent us all this stuff. Some like stuff for me and some stuff for the baby and like a baby blanket and like a hospital bag and stuff, which is so nice. Um, and the cats. I'm really loving the little basket it came in. We also got Coterie sent us diapers and I've heard really great things about these diapers. So I'm really, I was gonna get those and then they damned me and they're, they, they're gonna send them to us. So I'm really excited about that. And then we also got this like travel stroller, Halugo. <laughs> sent to us. And it comes with like a infant seat. Like it looks like that. Kaylee, you can just 
just time lapse literally all of that because I'm pouring sweat. We, we're first time parents. Oh my god. We put the newborn thing on. I'm like, we still have plenty of time, but I'd rather just get the boxes and stuff like out of the way, you know? We got the little newborn thing on though, and it's secure, so I feel good. Took us a long time, but we're learning. Wow, there you have it. Hey, Sunday. We're in the car. There is a storm happening in LA right now. We are going to film a video for Cody's channel. I think his will be out before mine. I don't know. We'll see. Do you want to explain to them what we're doing? It's called the Billy Billy Challenge. We go to 10 fast food places and order what the person in front of you ordered and you have to finish it amongst one, two, three, four, five people, I think. Like the people we'll in have your five. car. And you have to go to a KFC. You can only go to one drinks place. Oh, this is 10 drive throughs by the way, not 10 fast food, 10 drive throughs Two dessert places, one drink place, and you have to go to a KFC. So that's what we're doing. So we're doing that. Obviously, I had to join <laughs> because I'm pregnant. So does that mean that there's six people in the car? <laughs> there have been so many fast food things that I've been craving, but like technically we have to get what the people in front of us order. I'm just along for the ride here, but I am gonna help with the challenge. The people in front of us better fucking order good. I you know? know, I know. What if it's like, what if they go to Chick-fil-A and it's like- The fucking... Southwest salad or something. <laughs> we'll I would see. get out of my car. Bang on their window. Yeah, I'd be like, what the hey? The fuck are you doing? <laughs> Hi! First things first, I'm gonna tell you guys about my fast food experience yesterday, cause that was yesterday. And when we finished, I just didn't feel like recording anything and I just wanted to lay. So we went to 10 different places. In-N-Out, Starbucks, KFC, Randy's Donuts, McDonald's, Burger King, Jack in the Box, Box, Wendy's, Del Taco. Fucking El Pollo Loco. It was pretty insane. Like, honestly, like all the orders that we got were actually not that bad. Like the people in front of us, it was never anything crazy. Only thing crazy was like the first <laughs> thing that we did was go to In-N-Out and there was like three double doubles, a shake, a Coke, and a Diet Coke. Yeah. Like, that worst, was the craziest one. No, the worst one was Randy's. Well, that Randy's was, was do donuts, but we Six thought- Six massive donuts that we had But we eat. thought it was gonna be 12. I know, but it still sucked. Yeah, I just thought it was better than we thought it was gonna be. Wendy's is like, was by far my favorite. We did get the ghost pepper chicken sandwich and it was so spicy, but it was so good. All in all, the um, experience I would say was a good one. I had a great time. We had a good time. Go watch the video on Cody's channel. Now we are just getting gas because we just had our 20 week ultrasound. Woo! That's like the long one where they make sure that all of his organs are good and tend fingers, 10 toes, blood flow, brain, heart, back, spine, writ, like literally we saw everything. We got like a 3D one. So we got to see like a really clear image of his face and everything looks good. We're really, really happy about that. I was a little bit nervous, but everything looks good. And he is healthy and he was moving around and it's all good. So that's a little update on the baby. Yeah, that's that. Oh, and we're going to Drake tonight. So I'm good. Food was good, baby's good, Cody's good. Thank God, everything's good. It was so cute to see his little face. We got to see his little face. His little spine, his little fingies. We're cooking up a little baby. Hey, we're driving to go to the grocery store because I'm hungry. What I really want is nugs. I'm craving the, the meatless chicken nuggets, nugs. They were in a vlog a couple weeks ago. I want those, and I also really want Kraft mac and cheese. Okay, we're home. They had one box of nugs left, and I did not see them at first, and I was so sad. Add some cereal, a little bit of regular milk, a little bit of chocolate milk because it just sounds so good and I've been drinking chocolate milk a lot lately. Nugs, thank God, a poppy. I'm gonna eat these first and then see if I feel like mac and cheese after that. I 
hate Dan Humphrey. My nugs look good. Okay, I have seriously dilly-dallied. I'm full as hell from that entire box of nuggets, so don't worry about that. But I need to get ready, and I have no idea what I'm wearing to this concert. The, the issue right now with my body is that, like, I look pregnant when you're looking like at my bare belly, but like in clothes, but like it's not like a cute, like it's not like a full bump yet. It's more like it just kind of looks awkward, like in cute tight stuff or like a crop top even. Cause like I wanna wear both of those things with my belly out, like when I look pregnant. But right now it's like just still a little bit awkward. So I've been having like kind of a hard time. Dresses have really been like my go-to. So I got two tops from Free People. Free People has been like a lifesaver cause they have so much like flowy stuff. It looks awkwardly big though. It's kind of like an awkward length. Like I don't know about that one. I either will go dress or I'll like try to do some sort of crop top situation. This is the final hair. I think it's fine, it, it will do. I'm excited for Drake. I feel like, I've said this before, but m most of my brain is Taylor Swift. But if we're getting technical, I would say half of my brain is Taylor Swift and half of my brain is Drake. I've actually never seen him live before. I've just been such a fan of Drake for a long time now. My brother used to play Drake for me in the car on the way to high school. It really has been like Drake and Taylor Swift. The lighting in this fucking room that I do my makeup in sucks ass. I did get the Makeup by Mario concealer and I'm not gonna use it tonight, but I've heard really good things. I'm just like scared to use it. But I really like this Rare Beauty under eye brightening stuff. I've been doing that under the concealer, the Tarte concealer. Cody recorded his podcast today and he did it like kind of late and he's already like out closer to where we're going. So he just kind of stayed out there and I am meeting everyone. So yeah, I think I'm gonna bring my poppy. Maybe I'll just pregame with water. We're going to our friend's house to pregame and I need like some cute little beverage to drink, but I really like my little treat has been Coca-Cola. I haven't been drinking any other caffeine. And so I just like have a Coca-Cola and we like arrive to our destination or like when we're at the concert, I like when we get to the concert, probably like 30 minutes in, then I'll have the Coke. It's been honestly great. It's been like such a cu cute little treat for me. Better than like a mocktail, my personal opinion because like the coke just brings me alive because I don't have any other caffeine ever. I still like cannot believe what we saw at the doctor today. Like I can't believe I have a full baby growing inside of me. I'm 20 weeks today. It's August 21st. To see like just like his spine and his brain and like his fingers and his toes and his kidneys and his stomach and four chambers of his heart. Like I'm so lucky he's so healthy and everything looks good so far. It's just like, it's crazy that like my body did that. And it's pretty empowering. There we go. This is what I've done. I put lip gloss on still. This is actually a skirt that I'm wearing as a top. Blue marine skirt. I got the necklace at a flea market. The jeans are girlfriend denim. They're the only jeans that fit me. And these are vintage Prada boots and my Bottega bag. There we have it. Ready to dance my little ass off, right Chili? <laughs> If you can't tell, I was crying. My hormones have been really shining through today. Just kind of everything's making me cry. Um, but I, it is lunchtime and I'm gonna make the mac and cheese that I was gonna make a few days ago when I had the nuggets. And we're busting out the unicorn shapes today because it feels right. I'm gonna make some mac and cheese. We're gonna go to Starbucks and get our mystery drink. And then I'm gonna do a fucking Lego. You know what? I'm not gonna lie to you guys. We found a Lego in Cody's office when his parents were here and his mom and I started it and then they had to leave back to Canada. And so I finished it. And now I'm like, Legos bring me joy. So I got two Legos. I got a wildflower bouquet that I have to put in my own vase, but that could be cool. And I also got these succulents. So I'm gonna make one of those because this is the one that I made. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Today, because of all of the hormones and the tears, I feel like just doing things that bring me joy is what's most important right now. Is there stuff I have to do for work? Yes. So be eating something healthier, probably. You have to listen to your heart at times like this. And my heart wants mac and cheese. 
and also really wants donuts. Everybody's getting those PR packages from Road with the strawberry glazed donuts, and I'm fucking losing my mind. I want to eat those donuts so bad. Look at that beautiful mac and cheese, and I'm gonna have the poppy. Feeling good. I'm gonna eat this now and watch TV and live in peace. Cause that's, that's what I want, that's, that's the goal. Finish my mac and cheese, put some actual clothes on instead of my robe, and now I'm gonna order my frap. And I was looking on the Secret Free app, and I think today I'm going Cocoa Puffs. A vanilla bean frappuccino, add hazelnut syrup, add mocha syrup, pop with regular or chocolate whipped cream. Chili looks so cute right now. Chili. This one I feel like I'm gonna like. Got the goods. Get some of that whipped cream out. Mm. I love Starbucks whipped cream. I really do. I think it's the whole reason I like frappuccino so much. So this is the Cocoa Puffs Frap. Ooh, that's really good. I like that one. It's definitely sweet, and I don't know if it tastes like Cocoa Puffs necessarily, but I like this one. Cocoa Puffs Frap for me is like eight or nine out of 10. Definitely the best one so far. Mmm, Cocoa Puff. yes! I don't know why that one is just hitting the spot today. Now I'm gonna um, probably do the Lego, which I'll show you in the next vlog, the final product. But that is the end of this vlog. Thank you so much for joining me and talking to you guys. And I'm having weird hormonal days. It really does make me feel better. So I love you all. I hope you're having a good day when you're watching this. And I hope that everything's good wherever you are. And I'll see you next time. Bye.